It's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com, where we instantly improve the lives for families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can make informed decisions, have peace of mind, real power, real control, and so that you can influence decision-making fast, even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is another episode of Your Questions Answered. And in last week's episode, I answered another question from one of my clients. And the first question from Richard last week's, in last week's episode was, the ICU team is not following the policy regarding the treatment protocols for my mother. How can I respond to this? You can check out last week's question by clicking on the link below this video. And if you are watching this on YouTube, just click on the link below this video where you have access to all of our other case studies under the Your Questions Answered section. So in today's week's part three episode of Your Questions Answered, I want to answer the next questions from one of my clients, Richard, as part of my one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy service. Richard's mother suffered from a fractured bone due to a fall. His mother was then transferred to ICU due to a cardiac arrest and had a tracheostomy during her stay in ICU. In today's episode, I'm actually going to talk to the treating doctor in intensive care. And you can see what I found out while talking to him in the dialogue below. So today's episode is my mother in the ICU is unable to come off the ventilator. He's giving sedation and doing a tracheostomy, going to help her. You can also check out previous one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy sessions with me and Richard again by clicking on the links below this video. And please scroll down below this video where you can read the one-on-one -on -one consulting session where I talk to my clients, doctor. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click on the link below this video. That'll get you to our website where you can read the one-on-one -on -one consulting session and the dialogue. Thank you for watching. So how can you become the best advocate for your critically ill loved one? How can you make informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence quickly whilst your loved one is critically ill? in intensive care. You will get to that all important feeling of making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence when you download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you will learn quickly how to make informed decisions get peace of mind, real power and real control and how you can influence decision making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free instant impact report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you will learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report, you will also discover how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions. Discover the many competing interests in intensive care and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests. How to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle and vulnerability even if your loved one is dying. You will get five mind-blowing tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence in your situation. You will get 
real world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You will get crucial behind the scenes insight so that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care and how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care and it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered episode and I'll see you again next week in another update. Make sure you also have a look at our blog section for more tips and strategies or simply send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. Also, have a look at our membership site intensivecaresupport.org for families of critically ill patients in intensive care. Or you can call me, find international phone numbers on our contacts tab. Also, have a look at our ebook section where you get more ebooks, videos, and audio recordings, and where you can also get one on one consulting and advocacy with me via Skype, over the phone, or via email by clicking on the relevant tabs on the top of the website. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com, and I'll see you again next week in another update.